G'day guys, this is Devane, and today, uh, well this week, sorry, we got our cooling fan for our motor, and for the ESC. Um, I've already put them on, I wasn't able to talk while um, constructing it, because of noise reasons, and it's still a bit noisy today, but I need to record today. Um, so, uh, here's the clip of me piecing together the cooling fan for the motor and um, putting on the EC I think I don't think about the ESC I know it's on uh, I don't think I recorded it though so See, we've got the uh, motor heat sink on with the fan, and um, I did turn it around though. Uh, turned it around so that our label for the air racing is on the top of the motor, so we can see it. We paid for the label, so why not? And we also have our heat sink for the ESC. As I mentioned last week, oh, it's not going to come off, is it? Uh -huh. um, I'll just slide it off. It is missing one of the legs, but it seems to fit in there nice and snug, so it's all good. Shouldn't have a problem with it moving too much since the cables kind of push on it a little bit anyway. 
and that should keep us nice and cool. Hopefully that is the only issue with the EEC and I don't have to go through any other dramas with it. Um, if need be, we can probably sneak a small tie in underneath, or under it, tie it on, and re-secure it with the two screws. But other than that, it's done. Um, what else? Uh, still haven't received the uh, 17 mil hex hubs, and I wouldn't be ready to put them on yet anyway because we don't have the tyres for them. And we also got uh, this week some tubing, which I'm unpacking now, and fairly cheap too, which was good. It's only four dollars and free shipping. I'm not sure if I got a coloured one or not. Not that it matters if they're going to be inside the shops. Um, but once again, we can't do this today without having the ties because I don't know how low to put them, even though with the ties that I've got on now, which are two sets of rubies. Um, it doesn't seem to touch the ground anyway, so that should be alright. We can probably compress it all the way down and still not have an issue. That is, oh no, there we go, it just touches if I push it way down. And I also changed, uh, when I had it apart, I changed the um, connectors or the A-arms uh, to the zero degree because I thought the angle was potentially stopping these from springing back. It might just be, if I go like that, it sort of sinks in place. Um, I thought these might be the issue, whereas the fronts kind of bounce back normally. So it might just be that it's a tight fit in there and it's not allowing it to spring back enough. Or well, I was probably meant to put washers in there and they're not in there and it's causing a bit of friction. But either way, it should be alright. I don't think it's going to cause any major issues. And here's our lovely meter of tubing. I'm going to fit inside. It should. Yeah. that's all we have this week um, also on the shopping list in the future obviously there's something to protect the motor I'm not sure whether to go with the T-Bone Racing one um, the stock Traxxas one I think will fit on this um, but there's also another one that I was thinking of getting I can't remember what it was called but it's basically a, a swammy bar, I think they called it. I think that's even where you get it. Um, I'll leave this link in the description anyway. But it basically just comes straight out and up just a little bit. So that basically when it wheelies, it just touches down and that's it. Because I can't find the uh, integer ones that had the same sort of setup where it would just come out and it would be the wheelie bar on the end. Um, but it'll probably be the swammy one uh, because it, I don't know, looks cool and it's flat and should stop me from scuffing up my, my trans case anyway. So that's pretty much all we've got. Um, so we need the rear wheelie bar, the front RPM bumper. Better tyres and hopefully receive our 17 mil hubs. Um, but with all that said, um, money needs to be used for real world stuff at the moment, so we're out. Uh, probably got an 
about a month of crap to go through and then I can buy some more parts. So it'll probably be ran twice like this and then hopefully or maybe three times depending on delivery times um, then hopefully we'll get uh, some more parts to fit so for now you may not get an update for another couple of weeks unfortunately but that's all we can do and both of these fans work I have the one from the motor going into the uh, receiver and obviously this one just plugged in here I had to strip the wires out I need to get better tape for them because mine slips um, but they are covered and they're not going to cause much of an issue and some shrink tubing and we also oh there will be another update video when I fit these uh, probably next week I should be able to get the hardware for them uh, pretty sure I can just get it from a hardware shop if I, as long as I buy the right ones so we'll have the uh, proper thing the adjustable rods to go here which I don't know how to adjust but I do know that the instructions will tell me how far I need to be able to adjust them or need to adjust them I should say not be able to so yeah that's all I got have a good day, week, month, year <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.